Have you ever pondered the price of peace? How about the cost of conflict? Today we dive into the Red Sea conflict, an unfolding crisis with global consequences. In the heart of the Middle East, the waters of the Red Sea have become a stage for a power struggle that's been simmering since 2014. That's when the Houthi rebels began to assert their control over Yemen. These rebels, backed by Iran, have since then been on a quest for domination, eyeing the lucrative maritime passage of the Red Sea. Their aggressive attempts to control these waters have disrupted crucial trade routes and endangered the delivery of goods, grains and oil, turning the tide of normalcy into a wave of uncertainty. This isn't just a regional issue. The Red Sea is a vital artery for global trade. It's a lifeline that connects the East and the West, making its stability a concern for the world at large. But with every passing day, the grasp of the Houthi rebels is tightening. Their influence is expanding, and the world, which once watched from a safe distance, is now feeling the ripples. As we navigate through this narrative, we'll explore the web of geopolitical tensions, the tragic human losses, and the potential global economic repercussions. The Red Sea conflict is more than just a territorial dispute. It's a ticking time bomb, a crisis that could explode with far-reaching consequences. As the Houthi rebels tighten their grip on the Red Sea, the world watches, its breath held in collective apprehension. The Red Sea conflict's toll became starkly evident on January 11, 2024, when two Navy SEALs were reported missing and later declared dead after an exhaustive 11-day search. The tragedy deepened on January 28, 2024, as three Army Reserve soldiers lost their lives, with over 35 others injured in a drone strike at Jordan's Tower. 22 military base. Despite Iran denying involvement in the attack, the Houthi rebels, steadily expanding their influence since 2014, continue to shock the world with audacious assaults. These incidents underscore the human cost of a conflict that has long simmered beneath the surface of international relations, leaving scars that resonate on a global scale. These assaults have led to the untimely deaths of our brave soldiers, their lives cut short in the line of duty. These tragedies, however, are not isolated incidents. As the conflict continues to escalate, the number of missing soldiers is on the rise. These courageous soldiers stationed in the Red Sea are dedicated to safeguarding vital maritime routes crucial for global trade. The toll of declared dead soldiers is also increasing. Each name added to this list is a stark reminder of the human cost of conflict. These individuals who answered the call of duty with courage and dedication have paid the ultimate price. Their loss is deeply felt, not just by their loved ones, but by nations around the world. While we grapple with the rising tensions and tragic losses, it is essential to remember the human element of this conflict. Behind each statistic, each news report, each diplomatic meeting, there are people with dreams, families and a future that was abruptly taken away from them. These brave souls, lost to the unforgiving sea, have become the human face of this escalating conflict. In the shadows of conflict, nations must tread a fine line between diplomacy and defence. This is a dance that requires a delicate balance, a stage set by the escalating Red Sea conflict. The world watches, its collective breath held, as countries grapple with their response to the Houthi rebels' aggressive bid for maritime control. Each nation has its own unique perspective, shaped by its geographical location, political alliances and economic interests. Yet a common thread weaves through these diverse narratives, the desire for a peaceful resolution. The United Nations, true to its mandate, spearheads diplomatic efforts. Meetings are convened, resolutions are drafted, and sanctions are considered. The goal? To bring the Houthi rebels to the negotiation table and restore peace to the region. But diplomacy is a slow and often frustrating process, fraught with setbacks and compromise. Simultaneously, nations must prepare for the worst-case scenario, an all-out war. Military strategists work tirelessly, mapping potential battlefields, identifying key targets and formulating contingency plans. Naval forces are put on high alert, ready to protect their country's interests and ensure the safe passage of their maritime vessels. The echoes of the three Navy soldiers' tragic deaths serve as a stark reminder of the high stakes involved. Yet, even as nations bolster their defences, they remain committed to diplomatic negotiations. 
They understand that war, while sometimes unavoidable, is a last resort. It brings with it a cost that cannot be measured in dollars and cents alone. The cost of human lives, of displaced families, of cities reduced to rubble. As the world navigates this precarious balancing act between diplomacy and defence, the tension is palpable. Countries are pushed to their limits, forced to confront their deepest fears and make difficult decisions. As tensions mount, the question on everyone's lips is, will diplomacy prevail or are we on the brink of war? While the world grapples with the human cost of the conflict, the economic fallout is already being felt. As we delve into the economic implications of the Red Sea conflict, we must first address the elephant in the room, the expensive detour of ships to circumvent rebel-controlled areas. This rerouting isn't a mere hop, skip and jump. It's a staggering 37,000 miles. Imagine the equivalent of circling the Earth one and a half times. That's the extra distance these cargo ships are being forced to traverse. And every mile brings with it additional costs in fuel, labour and time. This logistical nightmare isn't just a problem for the shipping companies. It ripples out, affecting global trade efforts. You see, the Red Sea is a significant artery of global commerce, a conduit for goods and grains that feeds nations. Disrupting this vital maritime passage creates a domino effect that cascades through supply chains worldwide. Now you might be thinking, OK, it's a challenge, but surely it's manageable. Well, not quite. The rerouting isn't just a detour, it's a delay. And in the world of trade, time is money. Longer transit times mean slower turnover of goods, and slower turnover translates to fewer profits. This strain on trade isn't something we can simply brush under the carpet. It's a ticking time bomb that threatens to explode, taking the global economy down with it. But the fallout doesn't stop there. The repercussions seep into our daily lives, nudging up the prices of products we consume. Everything from your morning coffee to the car you drive could become more expensive. The cost of living could rise, squeezing households around the world. And yet, amidst all this, there's a silver lining. The global community is resilient. We've weathered economic storms before and we can do it again. But the first step is acknowledging the challenge we face, understanding its scale and its potential impact. The financial aftershocks of the Red Sea conflict could be felt far beyond its turbulent waters. It's a wake-up call for us all. The Red Sea conflict isn't just a regional issue, it's a global crisis, and it's one that we must navigate together for the sake of our shared economic future. Inflation, a word that strikes fear in the heart of economists worldwide, is now looming large on the horizon. The Red Sea conflict is not just a regional skirmish, it's a struggle with the potential to send shockwaves through the global economy. Consider this. The world's trade routes are the arteries of our interconnected economies. When these routes are constricted, as they are now in the Red Sea, it's not just local commerce that suffers. The effects ripple outwards, impacting economies far removed from the conflict zone. The vast rerouting of ships, a staggering 37,000 miles to avoid the rebel-infested waters, has a price. This isn't just a matter of fuel costs and lost time. It's a disruption of the finely tuned logistics of global trade. The longer it takes for goods to reach their destinations, the higher the risk of prices surging in response. And we're not just talking about a few nickels and dimes here. The cost of everyday items, from your morning cup of coffee to the sneakers on your feet, could rise. The Red Sea conflict could, in essence, reach into the pocket of every consumer around the world, making life more expensive. But the potential inflationary pressure doesn't stop there. The conflict has led to increased geopolitical uncertainty. This uncertainty can lead to investors pulling back, slowing economic growth and exacerbating inflationary pressures. The Red Sea conflict is a potent reminder that in our globalised world, a localised conflict can have far-reaching implications. It underscores the fragility of our interconnected economies, showing us that a disruption in a single strategic location can impact the financial well-being of people thousands of miles away. In the tumultuous tides of the Red Sea, we may find the ripples that trigger a global economic tsunami. As we navigate the murky waters of the Red Sea conflict, the crisis continues to unfold before our eyes. 
Let's take a moment to reflect on the journey we've embarked on in this documentary. We began with the rise of the Houthi rebels, a group that has been steadily extending its influence since 2014. With their aggressive attempts to control the Red Sea, they've disrupted a crucial maritime passage that the world relies on for the delivery of goods and grains. A pivotal point in this conflict arrived on January 28, 2024, when we saw the tragic loss of three Navy soldiers. This incident was a stark reminder of the human cost of this conflict, as the number of missing, presumed or declared dead soldiers continues to rise. In the face of such hostility, nations are caught in a delicate balancing act. On one side, the need for diplomacy to prevent the conflict from escalating into an all-out war. On the other, the necessity of defence measures to protect their interests and ensure the safety of their people. We then delved into the economic repercussions of this conflict. The rerouting of ships to avoid rebel-controlled zones has led to a staggering increase in travel distances, reaching an astounding 37,000 miles and counting. This not only strains global trade efforts, but also has the potential to drive up product prices worldwide. Finally, we explored the threat of global inflation. The cost of rerouting ships is not just a financial burden for shipping companies, but it could lead to a ripple effect of inflation across economies around the world. As we peer into the abyss of uncertainty, one thing is clear. The Red Sea conflict is not just a regional crisis, but a global one. The world watches, waits and wonders what will be the final cost of the Red Sea rising. Only time will reveal the intricate calculations of consequences and the lasting impact on nations and economies across the globe.